Hello everyone, I am the Axiac, and this is my Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2, The Black Pits 2, Gladiators of Thay, or I'll just end up shortening that to The Black Pits 2. Anyway, so we just uh, went through all the story stuff, and now we get to the killing floor. Yeah! Uh, looks like we just equipped everyone, we only have 13 gold left, and we're just about to enter our first battle. Now, this uh, battle arena works differently from the last games. There's, like, stuff I can get depending on the kind of show. So, I think uh, from this point, I'm just I'm going to end up doing the same battle over and over again to try to get different stuff before moving on to the next one, and that's how the format of this whole thing is going to go. And uh, story yes, stuff I think will happen as things move along. What is it? Uh... It will be done. I don't know if that's all the formations that I particularly want. I particularly tend to prefer the uh, formations, uh, the triangular formations. Let's see what this one does. So I also found the sheet that I used as uh, my cheat sheet for how the characters are going to level up. Because it looks like they gained all the experience that they could get uh, going through... The first Black Pits, which I think was limited to, uh, I don't know, something. What was it limited at? Um, where's my sheet? Limited to, let's see, Baldur's Gate Classic was limited to about, uh, is it somewhere around 160,000 experience points? Like 165,000, I think? I don't remember. The newer one uh, went up to somewhere around 450,000, 500,000. So one of these guys had 600,000. I don't think I leveled these guys up since. Uh, I don't care. Maybe I got extra experience points when I started this game. So, I don't have a whole lot. I do have a few magic weapons. Uh, I'm sorry, it's been a while since I did the first episode a little bit. I've been I'm still going through, running through Earthbound. Uh, yeah, she's going to dual class. She's going to be my only dual class character. She's going to dual class into a rogue eventually, because that will be actually necessary at a certain point in this game. I've actually played the Black Pits 2 before. Uh, before I even started doing Let's Plays. Uh, but that was a long time ago. And hopefully I've gotten better at this game, because as I require... Remember last time I had to do a whole lot of cheating to actually finish the ca campaign. But I have no intention of doing anything like that this time around. Speak. Certainly. Anyway, I think I have... Yeah, Bread is my talk at her with words character, which is not a thing that happens in D&D &D very much. Yes? I mean, monks are usually the ones who Without don't speak doubt. to anyone, but monks in this game don't need wisdom. I just flat out don't need it. I think I gave her a 10 just because uh, she should have some wisdom, but nope. She has none. She just has average wisdom. She's just about perfect, though. Ah! I've been anxiously awaiting your debut in the arena. I know what the legends say, but does the reality measure up? Oh, I was only in another gladiator arena. Can reality ever measure up to the legend? Mm, perhaps not. But if anyone can do it, I'm sure it's you. Now, are you ready to fight? I would rather talk to you. always have time for one of my flock. What can I do for you? During the welcoming feast, I noticed the uh, tension between you and Brodel. What's that about? Ah, yes, my dear cousin Brodel. He's envious because of my high station and the fact that Denaton really relies on me. It causes friction, but we're a family. What can you do? Unless we were tough running this place, one less talented than you would never be able to pull it off. It's so nice that someone finally sees what I have to put up with. Oh, you bear a heavy burden. Maybe discuss something of else? Of course! 
anything for the champion of Baloth's pits. Who or what do I fight well, next? It wouldn't be fair to the other combatants to say. Spontaneity is part of the fun, but I'm sure a woman of your talents can adjust to any danger on the fly. Okay, I'm ready. Will you be fighting our latest offering, or will you attempt to fight one of your previous battles again? I don't have any previous battles. Uh, I don't know why you would ask me at this point in time in the game. Uh, I'd like to fight my next battle. Technically my first. Lords and ladies, dignitaries and honored guests, today I give you something truly extraordinary. A champion of a rival arena making their debut here in our own. I give you the Scourge of Veloth's Pits. Britta! In what is sure to be little more than an exhibition, the new challenger will face several orcs captured in the wilds near Nethra. They seemed ferocious at the time, but look at them cower now that their challenger has been named. Before we begin, is there anything you'd like to say to the audience? Hmm. Yeah, so what I understand is that depending on what you say before and after the arena might determine extra stuff that you get. So... I know that depending on what I say depends a lot on how I'm perceived and by the combatants. I think my best option is to be um, I don't know. This fellow beast committed unspeakable acts of cruelty upon the civilized people. Uh sure. Yeah, I'll definitely go for... This looks like a hero option. This one looks like, um... I don't know what that is. So this is what I would end up saying, or something similar to it, to other uh, arena combatants, because that's what gives me my special items. Uh, I don't know what this does, except there's a roleplay option. These foul beasts once committed unspeakable acts of cruelty upon the civilized people of Faerun. Today I enact justice in the name of all their innocent victims. We shall sleep better tonight, knowing there are heroes in this world. The time has come. Combatants, to arms! Yeah. Yes? So, I think a uh, silent spell on that one will be warranted. Yes. yes. Yeah, just murder what the caster it? right away. What is he doing? It shall be. Crap. Right. Um. I'm getting attacked by the peasantry. I need to heal. Good enough. This ended up being a bit tougher than I thought it would be. She Okay, why are you in melee with your okay. Certainly. Can you heal yourself? 
on my honor. Sometimes I forget what exactly what some of these guys are capable of, and why didn't I... Okay. Just give her a minute to herself. Fantastic carnage. More. More. Another casualty in the pits. Sure. Yeah, you do that. Uh, uh let's uh Aha! More! More! Yeah. The buddies will be piled high today! Yeah, you could not fight it? in melee with ranged weapons, thank you. You will Two fall on my hand! Victory! It shall be. No, just to stab him. Yes, I will do my best. Stab at, stab at him with weapons. And another one goes down. My performers are victorious. Mm -hmm. So I could probably go a little while longer, I guess, with just the equipment I have. I can start saving up some moves. And, oh boy, that is a lot of experience. Or I think it just automatically gave me whatever. Someone called me. Okay. Let me, uh, where's my pencil? Alright, so, in order to keep things up on my sheet, and by, how is that? So, what I do in order to make sure I have an efficient group is just to make sure that uh, one that they don't have, they have as few overlapping proficiencies as possible. Like, every, uh, five of my six people have proficiencies in different ranged weapons. Uh, four, of the four two-handed weapons, four people have proficiencies in them, so on and so forth. Um, the other abilities don't particularly matter as much. So, like with her, she can't really go up anymore with the weapons that she has. But I can give my number one character slot here uh, proficiency in a different weapon. Maybe something. Um, well, the scimitar would seem appropriate. But of course, I have this marked as a weapon that uh, druids and thieves can have access to. So, of course, the question is, do I want her to have that, or I guess she only has access to weapons that thieves can. I, uh, I keep forgetting the have rogue proficiencies. This game is very different from later iterations, and that's what I'm used to using. All right, so and that is what you shall have. So we shall wait. There you go. Uh, that seems good. Next level in fairly short order. You need a poison. What level am I? What level am I? I am 12th level. So that means I'm hitting with a d12 hit dice on my punches. And at level 12, uh, it's treated as a plus 2 enhanced weapon. A 
high deflection rate against missiles. Oh. Yeah, my under yeah, monks turn into absolute beasts in this game. Minus one bonus to speed factor. And eventually, a good number of this group is going to have uh, a fairly decent amount of resistance to magic. What is it? It will be done. The dashing duelist, the persistent pugilist, the gallant gladiator returns. Have you a moment to discuss your latest match? Mm. Oh, I would be happy to. I'm sure prevailing over that pack of portly pig people proved a perplexing puzzle for a preeminent pugilist like the purported Scourge of Baylog's Pits. Indeed. But let's not belabor the business. How's this sound? Bags from their natural habitat, a bold band of orcs bravely battled a bloodthirsty butcher. Hmm. Oh, good. Chapter 2 will be about the sa same butcher slicing open the arena scribe. Oh, no, 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 no. I see the notion of subject neutrality is alive and well. Ha uh, quote historian. This chronicle is sure to be a bestseller. Indeed. So, let's get my other guys leveled up. So, I don't believe I'll gain any more experience points uh, if I keep doing the same battle over and over. Three hit points. So, I don't have to worry about rules anymore. So, she's just level 11. As is he. Ooh, and what proficiency should I give you, low Matt? Uh. He's a specialist in the He's most specialized in the longbow. Bloody water bugs. Uh, he's already fully competent in the two handed weapon style. So. It would behoove me, I think, to be even more proficient in the spear. Start getting some bonuses in that. So, and then next time I gain a point, which will be at, um, the next time I gain a point will be at level, let's see, he's a fighter archetype. Is he level 12 now? Shouldn't be. Probably is. Hmm. Oh, oh yes he is. So he should be leveling up as a level 12 person. That means the next one he gets will be at level 15. And then at that point, I can have him uh, fully master the long bill. But uh, in the meantime, I wanted to get some bonuses in that weapon. Super. I really like the the uh, avatar photographs I picked out. Oh, I wish I remember who they were from. I could credit them. Super. Okay. Um. All right. I guess that's it for him. And for you, Kensai. Another ridiculously powerful class. Uh, it won't be dual classing as anything else, being the half orc that he is, and holy crap, he's just going to. Yeah. So, this is definitely a much more optimum group, I think, than the first time I ran through it. I hope I don't have as much problems as I did the last time. Two weapon style. Uh, plus three to hit and plus three to damage. So I gain a plus, plus one to damage over what I used to have. I gain a speed factor bonus. 
and I still have, so it's not really, going from three to four really isn't all that much. The big change would be going to Grandmaster. And before I forget, let me mark here what I've done. So then we go to uh, Ajenka. Ajenka will be going at level 25. She will start to be a thief. I hope that's just in time for her to uh, make use of her dual class. So her specialty will be in short bow. I'll do the same thing that I did with the... Uh, the other character and give her a little bit, make her a little bit better with the quarter staff. Since uh, when she starts leveling up as a thief, I'm just going to make her proficient in uh, whatever thief weapons because I left uh, long swords, short swords uh, empty, and she'll probably also be proficient in scimitars and katanas daggers and whatever else I guess that uh, the other characters are also proficient with but I left long swords and short swords open for her specifically so this will be fine man it's going to be terrible having her for 25 because in order for her to fully become a full dual class wizard slayer thief, she has to be a level 20... It won't be until she's a level 26 thief that she regains all of her uh, wizard slayer powers. That will be a long time. So, does this mean I gain 5th level spells, or do I already have... Okay, yeah, so I don't really gain anything particularly special. I'd like to reselect all of my spells. I mean, it might mostly end up being the same thing, but... Still, I want to do so anyway. Uh, especially because I think even between, I don't know, I can't remember if much changes, especially with the Enhanced Edition, between Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 rules. So, I think Mass Cure, I, I do think I'll need more Recovery Magic. At least certainly more than what I've had so far. I should actually just start being a little bit better with summoning creatures. I'm not really going to need Raise Dead. I get healed as soon as I come back. One of my characters already has True Seeing. He really should never ever get close enough to use Slay Living. Or Righteous Strike. He really needs to stand back and let other people do stuff so he can... He is purely support. And being purely support. Uh, all other characters within this area must receive a saving throw or run away in panic. Party members are immune to the effects, although the aura fear may still disturb them. Uh, yes, yes please. So, and this. Animate Dead is better, I think, for a longer run. It summons fewer but powerful individuals, and it lasts a really long time.
definitely think remove paralysis should always be one of the spells that I have. Strength of one isn't going to do me any good. Though would have been, it could have been possible, I think, in order to. Because one of the things I always thought would be good is that if I'm designing a whole party, that if I know I'm going to have a cleric or something, that I could design a party around uh, making use of Strength of One so that I don't need to optimize the strength of my characters as much. But... Yeah. This is good. If I need to go into combat, I'll get myself a couple of those. Man, he does have a lot of spell slots as a wizard. I mean, it does help to be an illusionist, but still. Uh, you know, the worst part about uh, this particular version of the arena is that I can't, like, pre-buff and then go out to the arena. I have to go out basically with nothing, including spells, because I'm in an anti-magic field. So, that creates... So, having a spell like Enchanted Weapon would be stupid useful, but I can't really take advantage of it. I'd have to cast it in combat and then hand the weapon off to whomever. Uh, so, I would have to know exactly what I'm up against in order to deal with anything like that. I'm not going to deal with any minor sequencers or whatever just because I don't really need to for these fights. I can re-prepare spells at a later point in time when it uh, becomes more useful. Playing arrow, Arrow's usefulness has diminished significantly in later editions. Oh, quite. Um, is it more self only? Yeah, it's self only. But I'll have it just because. We can do that. Speak. All right, Certainly. I'm gonna go rest. What's all that now? Declare yourself. Hey, cause you think we should show me some of those moves you use in the arena? How about now? I guess that will be my next matchup. A uh, bunch of nobodies. get our rest on and then we'll try again for that combat and see if I can't get special item.
ที่The Adventure to the Old Net Three Scrolls are critical to proper recitation. He doesn't stop. There is genius in him, buried way down. Do you have that drink I recommended? Not yet. I'll deal with that next episode probably. Right now, I just want the muns. Declare yourself. All right, all right, Turtle. Hello again. The arena awaits. Uh, I'm ready for my next flight. Will you be finding our latest offering? Or will you? It's very well. We'll do a previous. Which tier will you select? Looking for an easy battle? Uh, yeah. Lords and ladies, in what? Before we begin. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you'd like to say to the audience? Uh, let's try this. My friends, our fledgling composer needs a patron. Will any of you help her make sweet music for you? For now, we let her demonstrate her talent by hearing the tune she plays with the instruments at hand. Combatants to arms! Oh, uh, yeah. What is my task? Blah blah blah, Grunch. Speak. Uh, she'll shoot. What is my task? She'll shoot him in a stupid face. On my honor. What is it? She will. Yes. Do whatever. That what is it? Cool. I guess you just do whatever you do best. Speak. Oh boy, you didn't get that off last time. Yes? We're dropping the ball, Ajanka. I guess I'll save this whole... Yes. Aren't you doing anything? The mage is casting spells. Spide evil is going to affect my party too. Uh, really useful in this situation. Better does be useful, but at this range, it'll also get the rest of my party slow. Down. Drag him out 
Just keep going. You did well. My performers are victorious. Just 500 gold, huh? This is not a terrible amount. It's unbelievable the way these people fawn over you. I could bottle your sweat and sell it as an instant refreshment. Here's something from an incredibly devoted fan. Congratulations. Cool. Uh, let's see what we got. What do we got there? Didn't even identify it. Do I even have identify? I guess I could go and uh, Speak without doubt. Let someone look at it. Hello, my pretty. How much are you tired? Which means oh, I love how this does this. This didn't used to do this in the original versions of the game. So I think that also means that uh, Warren here has his spells refreshed. Need to get him some more spells. Yeah, I heard you. Yes, it will be done. Nasty times are coming, I reckon. How may I be of service? Uh, temple services, please. Oh, yes, here's our inventory. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I see. Am I wrong about this being the one to go to identify things? Have my greetings, faithful one. Welcome uh, is not the right word, given the circumstances. I'm sorry to see another free woman brought to this dreadful place. Garogos is truly great. He sends us ever more warriors to continue the glorious slaughter. Garogos has nothing to do with it, you savage. You know full well this is the work of Deniton. Him is the one who supplies the gold for this barbaric spectacle. Who do you think guides them? Garagos, of course. These arenas are shrines to him. Marvelous brute. These arenas mock the field of battle. No true soldier would take pride in fighting in such a cage. It's nothing more than animals running at each other's throats. I'll not put a foot on there. That suits you fine, doesn't it, Kirel? How Tempest could have called such a coward to his service is beyond me. You should celebrate the arena for what it is. An opportunity to prove oneself in battle. The arena is a battlefield. Instead, you flee from it. Tempest doesn't like deserters. Do you know what he demands we do to deserters, don't you, Kirill? Timoth, you, you come here and please, my colleagues, Sir Timoth. We've all been through this how many times now? You're all just different sides of the same corn. Co corn. Coin. Timora blesses you all. Now let our guest speak. I believe she addressed you, Lady Corell. Thank you. Molazan, tell me, newcomer, whom do you march with in battle? Whom do you fight for? Are you Knight of Tempest, the true god of war? Uh, no, she would be... Who's a good deity for her? I never really like any of the uh, monk-related deities in Forgotten Realms, honestly. Uh, 
Uh, but no, I put my faith in another god. Oh, this, if nothing else, Sir Timoth and I would agree. It would be well served to put your faith in Tempest. In this world of constant struggle, skills and tactics will win every day. Every what time. would you know about skill and tactics, Curel? When did you last visit the training hall, or fight one of Sturve's menagerie? You will never leave your shrine. The shady underground alcove is no fitted place to worship. The field of battle, that's where we glorify him. You are a weakling and a disgrace to our order. Sir Timothy, please, your harsh, harsh words are uncalled for. You will make a poor lady cure all cry. Mind your own business, small Zan. We can deal with Sir Timothy very well myself. Uh, temple services, thank, please, thank you. I'll speak with Malzan about that. I don't provide the mercantile side of the shrine's operations. Said so someone else besides Denitin was behind this place? Oh yes, it's true. Denitin is not the arena's ultimate patron, though he certainly enjoys playing the role. We do not know his sponsor's name, whoever they are. They must be extremely powerful. Interesting. On a different topic, can I see the temple services you said you don't provide? Ah, oh, darn. Okay. I'll be going. What is it? Is there someone around here who can identify this awesome club I just bought, uh, just received? Actually received the club. Oh yeah, I gave it to him. It must be something if he can't identify it. Who in the party has the highest uh, lore modifier? It should be him. Lore nine, lore five, lore five, lore six, lore two. Yeah, it's definitely him. Definitely, definitely him. I think that's a pretty good idea of how things will tend to go for most arena battles. Which money did I get anyway? Eleven grand. Bring them on, mate. Okay. Speak. <laughs> Without doubt. <laughs> Selection scrolls. Oh, I suppose I could just give him an identify scroll. Can't he do that? Does he have identify? What is my task? I sworn I didn't think that he did. He doesn't. It's a prohibited school for him. Tell me what they have as prohibited schools. Although I'm guessing uh, one of them is identified because uh, it's not letting me pick it up. It shall be. Yes? <laughs> Why isn't old man gestures towards you, then sweeps his hand in the direction of the scrolls piled high on the table? Don't like to talk much, eh? The man opens wide, revealing an empty mouth. His tongue has been cut and most of his teeth removed. He grins toothlessly and again gestures to the pile of scrolls. Alright, let's take a look. So, he doesn't do enchantment spells. doesn't do divination spells. That is disappointing. He does detect invisibility, but why doesn't he do identify? Or maybe those are the, just the spells he doesn't have. Because now he has friends.
this necromancy he doesn't have? It must be necromancy. So I can't really tell the difference at a glance. The difference. These look colored. So all these look colored in, but I don't really see a difference in color. It's color blindness, or what's going on with me? Let's see how high this actually goes. Maybe I could just look it up. Don't fail me, interwebs. Okay, so the whole point of specialist mages is that they uh, can penalize others against their specialty school, basically the equivalent of just uh, that their saves are harder to resist for the specialized schools. And they can prepare extra spells. Schools of magic. Possibilities. It's all super and everything, but where is my prohibited schools? Hmm. This is necromancy spells. Using their secondary school restriction. Hmm. So it doesn't tell me what I actually have as a prohibited school. It does tell me where all the limits are, though. Teach a dragon spear ends. Oh, yeah, just for the mage class. Alright, sorry for pausing like this, but I really do need to see. I believe it's necromancy that I'm prohibited from. Oh, there it is. Uh, so, illusionist. Yeah. Yeah, necromancy is my prohibited school. So, I could hypothetically learn any divination spell I want. So, I should. I'll try to keep them off hand in general. Definitely don't need to tech evil. Oh, I don't need particularly knock either. I don't want to load up too much on these. Stinking cloud would be ridiculously useful. Especially because my monk is actually immune to poison now. I think that means she'll be able to go in it without much difficulty. Yeah, you know what? I'll pick that one up. Let's, uh... Invocation of all things. Uh, I'll pick up the tech illusion. Ghost armor. pick up a six level spell as well just uh, for that eventuality okay, got it. 
I would actually like for it to play though. So, Chain Lightning seems to be a fantastic one to pick up. I really like the idea of contingency though. It's also hard to argue with Tensor's transformation if we're but I don't really particularly need to have him on the battlefield for any you know what? This this is fine. Uh, excuse me. In fact I'll pick up an extra identify. Let's have you start memorizing. Super. Nasher plus two. Who do I have proficient in clubs, by the way? Uh, uh, my monk. One person who doesn't particularly need it. Well, she asked for something. I guess I can give it to her. Slivers had two points of piercing damage. Oh, that's terrible. Well, he could equip it too, but uh, I think he's taking a fairly sizable hit in that go. He doesn't, doesn't have proficiency yet. See, well, I, she would have a better armor class. This mean I could ever fight two weapon fighting like this. But she actually should be taking a sizable hit to her thaco. Still, I guess I can have her fight with it a little bit. I don't know why I would want to, though. This is fine. Wow. I keep forgetting, I gain experience by writing stuff, uh, by writing spells in my spellbook. What is it? It will uh, be done. Right, whatever. Let's get in another battle against those orcs. Hello again. The arena awaits. Will you be fighting our latest offering, or will you attempt to fight one of your previous battles again? Very well. Looking for an easy battle? Yeah, we're just doing orcs. Just orcs. And nothing else. We shall become the orc slayers. Lords and ladies, dignitaries, yeah, 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 but yeah, before we begin, is there anything you'd like to say to the audience? Hmm. Yeah, I'll do we that shall again. sleep better tonight. Knowing there are heroes in this world, the time has come. Combatants to arms. Uh, quite. On my honor. Okay, so I'll spend a turn actually just buffing the party first, or better yet, I could spend the round debuffing the others. What should I do? What should I do? Yeah, I'll have Speed. everyone stay here. What is my task? Actually, no, 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 no. Well, I'm gonna have you, uh... Just silence that guy. Just shut up his stupid face. And, uh... Yes? Script spellcaster defend. Spellcaster defend. Spellcaster defend. 
Those are aggressive. Let's go faster defend. So I guess they're all kind of built up around defending. Will be done. Where are you going? What is it? Certainly. What is my task? This was a bright idea. You will fall by my hand. All right, I guess uh, we'll do fewer dumb things. Oh, let's have him summon in some things. Finally get away from me, please. What is it? Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. Speak. On my honor. Turning out a little bit better than it did last time. I can take that. Uh, is he dead already? Nope, there he is. Thank you! So, uh, I don't need, is that spent? No, whatever. What is it? Without doubt. We'll go another time. Hello again. The arena, will you be fighting our latest off very well? From which, looking for an easy battle? It before we begin, is there a my friends, our fledgling composer needs a Indeed. patron. So to see if we can get another item out of the yes. people. So I suppose I can also flame broil them all yes. from a distance. What is my task? Need how? Now that looked like it hurt. Yeah. Again. 
Let's see the punch face. My performers are victorious. Well, I'm happy that I don't gain experience in the other ones because uh, that way Warren doesn't uh, miss out on the account of. Uh, yeah. Going out in the middle of everything and then getting shot Speed. by all the enemies because I'm so smart in tactics. Slash bolts left. I really need to get him some throwing axes. He's fine. Yes. You, on the other hand, need some yes. throwing axes. Certainly. I need a sling or some strong dwarven hail. I slave. You need weapons, do you? I got the best selection in the pits right here. <laughs> My story is I sell weapons. Now you buy in or walk in. I love, love, love that name for a weapon. Uh, unnatural creatures. Uh, okay. Um, so the next group that I'm going up against is a group of humans and a minotaur. Great thing about that is that the armor uh, is that it does armor class plus two. I should get that for Warren just for that purpose. It is, however, expensive. Staff is striking is ridiculously useful. I am actually eventually going to pick up this or something like it uh, for. Or a Jenka, but probably not until after she becomes a rogue. No, actually, she would need it before she becomes a rogue. I mean, I would have to. Either that, or I would have to wait until after she ascends to being a full wizard slayer thief. Dagger of Venom. That would be a swell item. That would also be a swell item. Arscona. Anyway, I was looking for throwing axes. Bala's axe, the wizard slayer. I remember you. Uh, okay. You get no special bonuses of any kind or another, just the regular damage, except uh, you do miscast magic whenever you hit somebody with it, which is really, really good. I could buy you right now. Throwing, oh, there we go. Throwing axes. Uh, no magical ones, it seems, which is fine. So, let's see. Sharing there, bud. I don't need that for you. I want that for you. Oh, you're so ridiculous. You're so ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Okay, all right. So, what is it? I guess I'll poke around here next time Without and start doubt. preparing for my next fight. Uh, thanks for joining me, everyone. Take care, and see you next time.